morning, sir. I'm on my way. Anna. Yeah, Chi Chi. I don't want to go. Can you pretend to be me, please? No, I, I'm sorry, Chi Chi. As much as I love you, uh, there are no difference. And uh, why do you think they'll notice the difference? We look exactly the same. It's the way how you stand. It's the way how you talk. They no. Why do you think they call you directly all the time? But Anna, I, I, I don't want to go. They're going to abuse me again. They're going to do it. I'm sick of this. Look, look. I promise I'll walk in in a moment, yeah? Just go up there and I'll be in in a bit to see if you're okay. 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 Here. Dry your eyes, okay? Okay. Okay. On the day I find a piece of me. Yeah, Captain. <laughs> How about we get into strip down and do some cleaning? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Hey, fans, why don't you get your kid off in there yeah, and do some little dancing around that mop bucket of yours, eh? Captain, is there anything you want me to do other than take my clothes off? Yeah, actually, yeah. I need you to adjust his belt and get him all straightened up. What do you mean, sir? He looks like he's in his uniform perfectly fine to me. Is that a fact, eh? <laughs> well, you got that. Now, straight with me up. Captain, do I really have to? Right, well, come here then. Is there anything else you want me to do, Captain? Captain, I'm not doing that. You may not want to do it, but I want you to do it. I want you to entertain my crew. Now take your clothes off. Please don't make me take my clothes off. Yeah, take your clothes off. You fucking bitch, take your clothes off. Take your clothes off. Let's see that fine and a sleeping ass. That's fine and a sleeping tits. No, please. Please don't make me do it. You take your clothes off. Or I'll have you cutting your heels in your prison where I'll fucking rape you. One by one. Or chained up. Okay, Captain. I will take my clothes off. Yeah, and I'll shake it around a little bit. I'm not a toy. You don't have a go on me. Captain, can I? Can I have a thing? Can I? Can I touch you? Can I touch you? The only person that's going to touch you right now is not going to be you, Lieutenant. It's going to be me. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Captain, there's something wrong with the engine room. I know. What is it? I don't know. The alarm's going off in the engine room and, and I've just come to report it. Why is it not happening on the bridge? I, I don't know, but I promise you there's an alarm going off. Please. You, you and you, get down the engine room right now. You, Lieutenant, you stay on the bridge. I want you to monitor the engine room from the console over there, okay? Isa, and you, 
Dagger, bitch. Get your clothes back on. And then meet me down the control room. Stop! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Anna. Look, I'm so sorry, Chi Chi. I'm so sorry. Please. Please don't let this happen again. I try. I try. Look, sweetheart, get your clothes on. And we'll both go down the engine room together, okay? Yeah. Okay. Can someone reach that alarm? That's just the problem. I, I can't, I don't know, the diagnostic computer is not doing anything. What do you mean it's not doing anything? It's because there's nothing to be done. I don't know why the alarm's going off. Right, well you and Chi Chi, you figure it out, okay? Now, I'll go back to the bridge. Boys, get back to the bridge. We need to make sure the ship is ready because we are all being inspected by a prefect in a couple of days time in time of this execution. Do you understand? This ship must be fully functional. Yes sir, I sir. Hey finance, how about you open up that panel, put your hands in there and pull out the circuit board. Do I have to put my hands in there? Yes, well I'm not going to do that because I don't want to risk injuring my hands, okay? It's down for the slaves to do that. Okay, I'll open up the panel and pull the board. Here you go. It's interesting, this. Interesting in what way, sir? It's like someone's throwing something on here, water-wise, to make it short. And what makes you say that? Because look, water damage. That's very interesting, sir. How could that have happened? Oh, you tell me. I don't know. I was on the bridge whilst you guys were trying to do stuff to me. That's all I know. Well, how about you just uh, give me a little bit of sugar? You're gonna tell the captain what? That you just had your ass kicked by an Anasapian girl? Yeah, I'm telling you now, if you say a word of this to the captain, I'm gonna kill you in your fucking sleep. Do you fucking understand me? You fucking slave whore. I may be a slave whore, but I still fucking kill you. Do you understand me? I swear, this isn't the end of it. Nah, probably not. Why don't you fix that computer yourself, you piece of shit? Thank you for listening to The Bounty, a 30 years since story. If you enjoy any of our content, why not check out our other story-based podcasts? They are A Tribute to Men That Hate Their Jobs and Gumshoe. All the links for those are in the description below. We also have our Total Entertainment Podcast, where I talk about the process of setting up a live show and a review of that show, as well as having the odd interview of a grassroots entertainer, musician or singer. The link for that is also in the description below. Until next time guys, bye for now.